Hi, I'm John Slavic, Concert Piano Technician. Let's open the piano up and take a quick tour of all the parts. The action mechanism is everything from keys to hammers. There are 88 keys, but let's look at how a single key works. This is the hammer system, which is the heart of the action. So when you press the key, it lifts the weapon, which pushes the hammer to the string. To make the action noise free, we have bushings, which are these felt pieces that cushion between moving parts. Next, we have the damper system, which helps stop the sound. The damper system lifts the dampers away from the strings. Pressing the pedal lifts all the dampers, while pressing one key lifts one damper. The action mechanism is useless without the rest of the piano, which is called the belly. The belly translates the action into sound. After the hammer strikes the string, the vibrations are sent to the bridge, which transmits it to the soundboard, which amplifies the sound. That's why concert grand pianos tend to be louder. To make sure strings are in tune, we tighten and loosen the strings by turning the tuning pin with a tuning hammer. The pin block holds the tuning pins in place. Typically, the pin block is covered by a steel plate, but not on Burzendorfers. To support the 35,000 pounds of tension from the strings, the steel plate keeps the piano from breaking in half. Beyond its mechanical function, the vibration of the plate also contributes to the artistic tone, giving the modern piano its bell-like sound. To protect all these delicate parts, there is the cabinet, which also includes the lid, music desk, and legs. The piano is truly the sum of its parts, all contributing to its tonal beauty. To learn more about piano technology, watch our other videos.